going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Pyro, and today what we're going to do is um, open up this Floatron Bug Zapper. This Bug Zapper is a BF190, and uh, we got a replacement bulb here that I bought on uh, Amazon. This is a uh, Bugulate long blaster replacement bulb. So it looks almost exactly like the original bulb that's in there. So the tools you're gonna need is a screwdriver, Phillips, and a flat tip here. And I might have pliers used for something, I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. Uh, I got this metal tin at uh, Harbor Freight for less than five bucks. And um, this is good for keeping all my hardware so it doesn't roll around on the table, okay? So let's get to it, man. So first off, you're gonna have uh, two little screws, two Phillips screws on the side of the uh, of the casing here. You're gonna want to take those off to expose all the other screws that are there. And uh, because I'm working in the garage, this is my only moment to uh, have a cigar without being in the house with the family. So this is a uh, Bugatti Ambassador. It's pretty tasty. All right, let's see here. Then I also got my tea here because it's too early to be drinking. I got my Tucson Roadrunners cup, which is one of my favorite cups. Ah, that's good stuff. All right, so here, take off the cap, set it aside. You'll notice all these little fancy electronics. I don't know what this little light bulb's for. This is weird looking. It's like a almost a Christmas light looking thing. Really random if you ask me, but it looks burnt out. So I don't know if that's gonna affect something, but it looks like it's connected to the um, to the light bulb portion. So, well, man, I wonder if my light bulb's working. It's just that this little guy's burnt out. So I guess we can find out by replacing it. I got LED bulbs around here somewhere I might be able to replace that with. But uh, I'm not really sure. So <clears throat> Let me go find a light bulb, a little baby light bulb and uh, replace that and plug it in and see if that doesn't fix the problem. Either way, if it fixes the problem, good. I'm still gonna replace the bulb because I want a fresh bulb in there. Uh, if it doesn't fix the problem, then we're just going to keep moving on, moving on uh, with replacing this little guy, which is actually broke. Look at that. It's not even because I flicked it. It's just because it's broke. So that one's broke. And then we'll uh, replace the bulb there and then we'll call it a day. So uh, let me put you on pause and let me go find a bulb and I'll be right back. So I'm back. I found um, I found an LED bulb. It's colored, I think. I don't know. This was on our last trip. Ricardo and I went to go buy some randomness from Walmart, and we came back with this to make a test light or something like that. I don't remember what it was. Then that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, so we bought these here, and. Um, so I'm not very good at soldering stuff. Ricardo is really good at soldering stuff, but he's not here. So I got my uh, rosin core solder wire, and then I got my little iron here that's heating up and sitting on my ashtray because my ashtray is metal. And uh, well, I'm not very good at soldering, like I said. So what I'm gonna tell you is, um, if you're not very good at soldering like I'm not, don't try this at home, I guess. I don't know. But if you're watching this, then that means you already do stupid stuff already. So, hey, it is what it is at this point, okay? So let's try to solder these pieces together. Hopefully everything works in my favor. So I gotta hold this guy over here like this. Put a little bead of solder on there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let them rest right there. And then, uh, Heat it up and then solder it like that, I think. We'll see how it works out. 
Once again, I'm not very good at this, so don't don't uh, bash me for not being good at this. So the way I've seen my buddy Ricardo do this is that he would heat up the wire and then dab the flux onto the wire to where it pulls like a nice little <clears throat> a nice little piece of solder on there. So I got a nice little, nice little piece of chrome on there, if you can see that maybe. All right. And now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to put this piece of wire on there and then melt it on there nice and gentle like, hopefully. Oh, see how it works out? Hopefully it works out. So I got one side of the bulb hooked up. As you can see, that's on there good, right? So now I just gotta try to do the other side without breaking this piece. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> like I said, I'm not very good at this, but I try to do everything myself because I don't want to spend money. And I think a new one of these flow things it's like 50 bucks, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know how much it is. Uh, but what I'm thinking is... Is to put enough solder dot on there to where I can put this little guy on here and be happy with my results. Put a little drop on this light bulb side. It just takes a while for the heat to transfer through to the material.
And as you see, I'm not trying to breathe any of this stuff in. I'm just trying to, <clears throat> if it does let off air, I'm trying to blow it away from me as much as possible. Once again, if there's a better route to doing this or a better way to doing this, and you know, you guys know, let me know so that way I can start doing it better. Because as of right now, this is the only way I know of, and it's not very effective for me. Or maybe it is effective for me, I don't know. Now that I got some solder on there and it's pulling up a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fill in more space with more solder. There we go. Let's try to do this side some more. take this off set it down somewhere so it doesn't burn me now these soldering irons get really hot so my recommendation is don't play around with it too much if you don't have to all right so now that that's on there looks like it's good uh, I'm actually gonna try to plug in real quick this is probably not the best thing to do because this cap is not on here so let's just temporarily put a cap on it and see what happens all right so got my bug zapper here and then uh, let's plug it in All right, so nothing happened with that. So just gonna twist some wires here, make sure everything's hooked up. Make sure that's good. All right. So nothing worked. So I don't know if that's my bulb's bad or what. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue with bulb replacement. So set my solder away. So continue moving on, moving on. Take this flat tip screwdriver and we're gonna take out these ones here that hold the housing onto this top portion where all the electricals are. Now this top portion has clips right here, which you are going to want to lift up and push in. Clips right here, yep, okay. So lift up gently because these are plastic clips and uh, there is a possibility that you will break that clip. Plastic clips scare me because there, there's a high possibility of breaking stuff, you know. There we go. 
All right, so now this piece comes off. Set that aside. And now this is a good time for you to clean all this crud off from these, uh, these electrical connectors here. And yeah, you can see my bulb is uh, pretty bad. So if you're lucky, you can just take the bulb out just like this, you know, wiggle it a little bit. Uh, there we go, it's coming. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, but if you're not lucky enough, you will have to take off this cage right here with these three Phillips head bolts. And uh, that's gonna allow you better access to get to the bulb. But lucky me, mine came out without doing that. So I don't have to, I'm not gonna go through the whole process of, of uh, doing that, okay? So once again, here's our uh, Bugulate uh, bulb here. Which, like I said, it looks exactly identical to the other one. Look at that. Thank you for choosing us. Uh, Satisfaction is guaranteed. All right, cool. Look at that. That one's almost identical. You see that? That's perfect right there. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in. There's four prongs on there. I'm just going to put the four prongs in. I'm going to push and twist and jiggle and, and the aim of the game is you got to make it sit flush and flat so that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to put this back in our holder. Assembly is just the same as the reverse, you know, so just be careful because all this stuff is plastic. And I don't know about you, but mine is really old. Uh, I bought mine at Goodwill. It was like, how much was it? It was 20 bucks at Goodwill. And um, it worked, so that's why I bought it. And uh, it's been in my garage for the past, I don't know, almost 10 years. And uh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, and uh, it's been working great, and that's why that's why I wanted to buy the. Um, that's why I wanted to buy the uh, the replacement bolt for it. Okay, so uh, something that just happened here was that uh, these uh, are what's called clocked. Okay, so meaning they go in in a certain way. So this one right here went in smoothly, but the other one's not going in at all. So what I need to do is I need to rotate this thing so that way. Uh, it'll stay clocked. Get to play with these plastic pins again, which is not my idea of fun. Oh man, I hate these clips. There we go. Alright, so we're just going to turn it around the other way because they go in a certain way. But as you saw, it went in smoothly, you see? So you got to be careful with that. Like I said, you just need to be really careful with these clips because they are plastic and they will break. These clips don't care about you or anything that's going on in your life. They will break. <laughs> Alright. Time for a new screwdriver, I think. This one's uh, not being very nice to me right now. Flatten up the tip a little more, I think. Yep, there we go. This works out better. Alright, so now that that's hooked up, I can actually plug it in and see if it works. Cross your fingers. Whoa! 
That is not good. And as you saw, I just fried the crap out of my little light bulb. <laughs> so uh, that didn't work out. So maybe I will have to find a, uh, a nice little Christmas light or something like that. Um, yep, let's see what happens. Unplug it here. And then take my handy dandy uh, fixture here. My pliers. Take this off. You know what I think though is I think that this is a um, I think that look at you can see where it's fried. It's fried right there. Uh, I think that this is a um, a fuse. That's what I think. Just put a fuse on there. Okay, so let me go find another light bulb, and then I'll re-solder that piece onto this piece, and then uh, we can call it a day, I would say. Or let's get really stupid, and we can put these two pieces together and then try it. <laughs> I'm all about doing stupid. That's that's me right there. Stupid all the way. So let's see what happens. All right, so I hooked up the two light the two connectors together and you can see that the light bulb is charging up which is a good sign right and uh, yeah that's really good uh, the whole thing's not lighting up though which I don't like but it might have something to do with this little light bulb not going in there or something I don't know Just another day in the life. Just another day. So that works kind of, sort of. Once again, I'm not really sure what this does, but ah. So now, like I'm really curious to see what this little light does. I don't know what it does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something really stupid. I'm gonna plug this in. So now we have live power going to this thing. I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm gonna hook him up to this guy and see what happens. Nothing, nothing happened. So yeah, this little guy is burnt out for sure. All right, that's what we have, I guess. So what I need to find is a 12 volt uh, light. This one right here is, is a car light. I just remember that, but I'm sorry, not a 12 volt. I need, I need a uh, 120 volt light bulb, not a uh, automotive 12 volt light bulb. So that's why this thing burnt out because it's 12 volts, not automotive bolts. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me go find another light bulb and I'll be back with you, okay? So, uh, I soldered this uh, other light bulb on that I had, this little um, Christmas light. And uh, when, I, when I soldered it on there, I put the two pieces together on here and it shorted out the light. So while it was still powered on, I removed one side and I noticed that it, uh, it didn't turn on. But then I hooked the two little pieces together again And then they turned on. So I don't know if this is like a on-off switch or something like that to where 
it works sometimes, but not all the time. I'm not really sure. But as far as replacing the bulb, hey, look, I just replaced the bulb. So there you go. Uh, I don't know, man. I might, maybe I'll put this on an on-off switch because it looks like I turn it off. I plug it back in, it's not gonna work. Until, whew, until uh, it gets all charged up. So I don't know, maybe I might have to put an on-off switch because uh, I don't know what, I don't know what this fat bulb was. But maybe that's what it was, was an on-off switch to where it charges up the light and then after the light turns on, this this little bulb shuts off or there's something in there that shuts it off. I'm not really sure. But it's working now, so I'm gonna try to figure that out and then uh, maybe I'll do another video and get back to you. Um, but as far as this is concerned, this is simple enough to put back together after I figure that out. Uh, you're just going to put this back on here and then you're going to put these two screws back together and that's it. You're, you're done. Good to go. Okay. So uh, I'm going to figure this out really quick and then uh, I'll come back and uh, I'll tell you what I did and uh, if it worked. Okay. So have a good day. Bye. <laughs> For right now. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, this little item is called a bug zapper fluorescent light starter and what it does is it clicks internally to start your UV bulb and uh, I just ordered one on flowtron.com and it was three bucks so I'm just gonna wait for that to get here uh, I wanted to originally just kind of jimmy rig it to where I would figure something out, but you know what, man? If this is only three bucks, this little guy right here is only three bucks, then I might as well just buy it and uh, call it a day. And hopefully, I'm gonna get like another two or three years out of this bad boy. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it'll be better for me. So in the end, I don't know if it's really that that much worth it because I think a new one of these is maybe like 35, 40 bucks. And uh, this bulb here, this bulb here was like, mm, I think it was like $20, $25. And then that little bulb is going to cost me $3. So I'm still in it roughly like $30. Bucks. And, um, but if this is for you, and this is what you want to do, then, you know, it's easy to do, it seems. And uh, I, don't even, I don't even have to solder anything. I could probably just use little um, twist clips twist uh, thing. These little guys right here, I can probably just use two of those to put them on to install this thing and uh, call it a day. So uh, I'm just going to wait for it to show up in the mail and uh, as soon as it shows up, uh, I'll refire up this video and then finish it off. Uh, but as far as replacing this light bulb, it's real easy to do. You can do it and um, you don't have to play with soldering and all this other stuff. So if it's something you're into, hit me a like and a subscribe. And uh, as soon as this video is over, man, I'm going to show you how it works. And uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye. All right. So we're back here. And uh, I got the part from, uh, from uh, what is this, Flowtron or whatever it's called. Yeah, Flowtron here cost me three dollars plus shipping and um, I just got it in today so we're gonna finish out this video and uh, as usual I got to uh, do the whole soldering thing which I'm not very good at but you'll see right now <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna solder this piece on here this is already going already nice and hot so we can uh, get crack in here so I'm just gonna heat up the solder that's already on there and then I'm going to try to shove this on there and hopefully it stays and then um, I'll put a little bit more on there once it's like tacked on there, you know, basically it just stays there by itself. Once again, man, I'm not very good at this stuff, you know, and 
the soldering stuff isn't my cup, my cup of tea. I mean, not really, anyways. But I do best I can with what I got, so. But if this is something you want to do, meaning change out this, this bulb and this, uh, what do they call it? This igniter. It's actually really simple to do. It's the soldering part that's the hard part for me because I'm not very good at soldering, so. I'm gonna try to get this nice and heated up here. Okay, so I got this little part on there. Look at that, got it going, it's already stuck. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this solder flux here, try to drizzle, drizzle it on top there. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> like I said, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> That's all right. It'll work eventually. You'll see. Normally we don't have to do this stuff. See, we call somebody else to do it. This is a uh, avionics task, not a mechanic task, but you know, you gotta be the jack of all trades sometimes. Do what you can with what you got. Some of you understand, some of you don't. That's all right. Let's try to put some more on here just to make it. that's on there and uh, it should be good to go got a nice little crappy solder job going on there which is fine let's take this power cord here and we'll plug this in here and see what happens whoa look at that all right so this is how the igniter works let's see if you can see that so when you plug it in it does a couple of flicks over here and then it turns on the uh, right and just that little bit turns on the UV light which we replaced earlier there you go so now she works good to go so now I'm gonna put this cap back on and uh, we're gonna call it a night yeah and uh, this was the last part of the video which was to replace that little guy and then to put this cap back on. So the cap is directional, and uh, if it goes in coordination here, uh, screw that's there, right there, and then this here. So if you turn around the other way, look at it goes on there nicely. But just make sure that this is tucked away in there because this is now a part of this piece. Here we go. So put the lid on there. Got my screwdriver here. Put it on here. You can still see my Goodwill tag on here too, which is funny. It's, this was 20 bucks, so. But it lasted four years, you know? It lasted three or four years, so it was a long time it lasted. And uh, this is um, really good because. All right, so I just got that phone call. That was my uncle calling, and. Uh, wanted to ask me about his car. Uh, so 
once again, this is a uh, Floatron BK400 or something like that. And uh, I paid about $20 for the bulb. I paid uh, $3 for the uh, igniter. I paid $20 for the Floatron there. So I'm, I'm actually in it for what it costs brand new. But this should work a long time. Uh, I don't expect it to go out anytime soon. But like I said before, I've had it for about three or four years and um, it's been on every day. It, there's, it hasn't taken any breaks. It, it just stays on in my garage. So, uh, so yeah, man. I, you know, if you guys want to replace replace this thing, it's it's all good. It's all good. You know, it's it's easy to do. Uh, I just showed you how to do it. If there's no other video on there to show you how to do it, at least there's this video that shows you how to do it step by step. And um, it's real easy, man. So go out there and, and get your hands dirty. All right. Uh, that's all I got for this video. If you want any more videos, you hit me up. Uh, you know, throw down a like and subscribe, and, and I'll try to make as many videos as you want. If there's any recommendations for videos, go ahead and post that because I do definitely read the comments and I, I get back to you as soon as possible. So hit me up. All right, thanks. Have a good evening. Bye.